I know where a mighty flint spot is. Raise your hands up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, he says, I know because I've made you reading for your school, you poor, poor, innocent lambs. Uh, the rest of you, I do not, but I intend to do so this morning. Now, we are going to do two, not one, but two, count them, workshops this morning. I mean, it won't be difficult, it's literally one, two. If you can't do that, you shouldn't be here. Um, we are going to do two workshops this morning. One, uh, based a little bit around my book, because I wrote one. I've written four, actually. Um, does anybody, this is always a nerve-wracking moment for an author of the book now, uh, has, does anybody know my books? Has anybody read any of my books? Oh, I'll take that for a dollar. Outstanding. Well done. You're either brilliant readers or big liars. I admire them. Well done. Um, well, for those of you who don't know uh, me, which is, you know, anyone who's not involved in you know, the criminal justice system, uh, then I am Naz Evans, that is me, my name is on the books and everything, and uh, I wrote these four books. And uh, the first one, Who Let the Gods Out, came out um, almost exactly two years ago, actually two years ago, February. And uh, the sequel, Simply the Quest, came out August 2017. Beyond the Odyssey came out April last year. And I'm super excited because Against All Gods, which is the fourth and final part of the series, is out in two weeks' time. I am actually going up to London tomorrow to launch it uh, at a big bookshop in London, which means I will stand there, I will make a speech, and then I will drink far too much right beer. And I, I love right beer for me, it's lovely, for drinking all day long. Uh, so I'll be off drinking right beer tomorrow. So then, um, and I've been, I've been really lucky with these books, actually, because who ever comes out? Uh, which was my first book, it was chosen to be uh, Waterstone's Book of the Month. You know Waterstone's the, the big bookshop. Uh, which meant that I became a best-selling author on my first week in the job. First week in the job, I became a best-selling author. And the great thing about being a best-selling author, they can never take it away. So it now doesn't matter what toots I put out for the rest of my career, I will forever be known as best-selling author Maz Evans. Go me! Woo! Um, I'm, very, I'm very fortunate. Who knows the Gods Out series? It's in 18 countries around the world. Uh, so it's in America, Australia, New Zealand, America. I said that. America, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, China, France, Germany, Spain, Holland, Israel, Slovakia, Slovenia, the Czech Republic, I am big in the Eastern Bloc, Russia, uh, and all the others that I love so much I can't remember them. Um, I narrate the audiobooks for the series, so if this morning with my nasal twang is insufficient for you, there are 24 hours of me on Audible, kids. In fact, I just recorded the audiobook for Against All Gods last week. I'm not going to do that. Um, the series is now sold, well, actually, this one sold over 100,000 copies of the UK in the last two years. Uh, which is good, that's quite good. That, that gives me enough to buy crepes and stuff, which I like. Um, and I now get to travel around the country, around the world, in fact. I just came back from France yesterday, for the books there, uh, getting to talk to you little ankle biters about writing and reading and all that good stuff. More now, to help you to achieve your fullest potential, Call Me Graham went on. pulling a button off his cardigan. Everyone at Wisemob is committed to encouraging, nurturing, and inspiring every people in our care. We're always here for a friendly word, helpful advice, or to make sure we know. Where is that snivelling runt of a pathetic excuse for a boy? The office door blasted open with a furious roar, making Colby Graham scream like a kitten on a ghost train. Elliot was all too familiar with that moment. Oh, hello, well, good call me, Graham. As you can see, I just had a little chat with Elliot. See, <laughs> you're <laughs> Now remember the thing about diaries is it's your own private thoughts and it 
shouldn't be read by anyone unless you've got the going younger brother and take it from me, hide the key really well because you will find it and you will read about your boyfriend and then he'll tell your mum and then do Anyway, I don't know. Um, but diaries are personal, private thoughts. So these, and this happened like last week, literally. This is absolute pain. He's 37 investment banker and he still tries to steal my diary. Um, and I'm a long time boyfriend. Um, we are going to write the first person, and so these are the private, intimate thoughts of this character. So they can say whatever they like. You have a free choice because, believe it or not, we do still have a free choice in this country, no matter what stupid referendum I have to say about it. Uh, you are going to choose to be either Elliot, or call me Graham, or Mr. Boyle. You can choose anyone you like, no pressure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 